the economy has changed, the markets are changing, and now you have to change in order to, to not only survive, but thrive in this economy. So looking at the global markets, there is significant amount of um, instability with, uh, with wars going on and such. And then there is definitely uncertainty. And then just because we live in Canada or in Western countries doesn't mean we are immune to, to this turmoil because prices of oil, supply chain, we're all very, very dependent on the global economy then back way back when you're able to purchase stocks and then just watch them ride the wave but now there's tremendous uncertainty with customers and then what's going to happen with the market same with crypto uh, people are investing in crypto and then the drops and then rises within crypto means that would you want to depend on that as your sole investment vehicle for the future real estate as well which is our specialty with the interest rates inching up and in a lot of uncertainty in the market um, there's been you can't invest the way you used to invest where you put your money into a real estate buy a piece of asset and then just hold it and do nothing now more than ever we need to think about how do we not only survive, but we thrive, and that's being more active in our investments. So for example, with, with real estate, uh, if you purchase an asset, yes, you lock in an interest rates, but that will catch up to you uh, eventually because interest rates have been going up significantly beyond what any analyst could have predicted. So there's a lot of market pressures. And investors, if you think about it globally, always flock to the to the most certain and predictable investment. And then that's real estate. And then within real estate, investors have been moving away from commercial real estate like office space into multifamily. So in order to thrive in multifamily real estate, what do we do? I mean, we have to be really creative and be on the ball before taking advantage of government programs was optional. Now it's an absolute must to understand what are the key government programs around housing and what's the best and most effective way of taking advantage uh, of those. Then also we have to look at what are every single possible way we can create value within asset? Now, when I mean value is doing something so that we can increase the rents because with increased rents come increased cash flows as well as increased value of the asset. So we don't only look at natural turnover of, uh, of, of units and then re-renting them. We use every trick in a book and you have to as well to really get the top dollar for these units. And that's not just renovations, adding value add opportunities um, with like laundry. Um, there is also solar panels as well as as well as other ways that buildings can make uh, extra money. And really important thing more than ever, we can't sit and wait uh, and then just watch this happen. Speed is very important because without speed, that cash flow depreciates and then goes negative. So we have to ramp that up on investment. So speed is definitely key. In order to have speed, you need to have the right team, right processes, and then right leadership. So when it comes to leadership, you have to see what is the vision for that investment. How am I gonna come out at the other end out of this crazy turmoil and then make this investment a successful investment? So that's the difference between the followers and the leaders. The leaders have the vision of how am I going to get through this turmoil? Maybe in a short term, something, uh, it's not going to look right. There is going to be, you know, thorns in your side. Um, there is going to be whirlwind, but then the storm calms and then things, things work out. But the vision and the steps you're going to take to get that asset into a better place definitely need to be there. So unfortunately, yes, we live in a new world. You have to do diff things very differently, 
But if you're active and paying attention to your investments and taking the right action, you will thrive and then you will succeed. So join our investor circle if you haven't already, or if you like to chat about your investment strategy and uh, then definitely book, uh, book a meeting with our team. All right, well, keep on investing and take care.